Okay, guys, hello. Uh, I'd like to welcome you back. Mike here. And uh, I am going to make a video of uh, some dragster model cars that I have made recently. <clears throat> this particular uh, model right now that you're viewing is my um, uh, 62 uh, Corvette Gasser car that I'm still working on to get it done. And uh, there's the body of it over there. So, uh, but anyway, I'm going to... Uh, display uh, some of my models that I've completed in the past month or two and so I'm going to switch the camera off and uh, let you see them okay <clears throat> first up here is uh, my slingster dragster that I made oh some weeks back and uh, it's uh, 125th scale and uh, I had a lot of fun building it. It was, uh, you know, as with all models that are 125th scale, it's got a lot of, uh, you know, tedious detail work to it. But uh, I really enjoyed making this. And I'll lift that off so you can see how it looks without the uh, coupe cover on it. And uh, got the drag chute and painted the interior. Did a little bit of detail work in there. And uh, added some of my own decals that I had. Plus what came with the model. Okay. Okay. Up next is my uh, Tony Nancy uh, drag car which I also really enjoyed making this. It was a lot of fun. Again, uh, it takes a lot of detail work and, <clears throat> you know, painting of the parts. And uh, sometimes I can get a good job done on the painting and sometimes not. And uh, I'm, I haven't really built models since I was a kid back in the 60s. I decided to get back into it. But uh, this one, ha I really enjoyed making this, and this comes off, so you can see the tank in there. But uh, that's my Tony Nancy dragster car, and up to the next one now. Okay, up next is my uh, Jawbreaker dragster car, and... Uh, I really enjoyed making this. It uh, decided to paint it uh, green. I call it the green machine. And uh, I also decided to put some some of my own metal foil on it, just for the heck of it. Um, I haven't really work, worked with metal foil a lot, but it's really tough to work with that. But if you can get it right, and you know, you can make uh, your models look pretty good. And I just kind of uh, mixed some decals I had, already had along with what came with the car. Okay, I guess that doesn't come off. But uh, anyway, this is my Jawbreaker Jagster car. And had a lot of fun making it, too. Okay, on to the last one. Okay. The last one here is my uh, Jungle Gym uh, Dragster Rail Car. And uh, this is kind of my favorite, I guess you could say. Um... I really enjoyed making this. Uh, I've been making a lot of use of uh, this Spastix um, chrome paint that I have. It's quite expensive. And I used it to um, paint this uh, wing. And I actually use it to paint a lot of uh, items that I want to have painted, uh, you know, like a chrome that 
parts that are not already chromed and uh, it really works really good and uh, I really enjoyed the heck out of making this although uh, I had a lot of tro trouble with the body as you can see it uh, didn't come out that great uh, it they didn't fit really good and I had a hard time gluing it the sides here on so that didn't come off that great but I this is another vehicle where I used uh, my foil I made my own foil decals I didn't care to use the jungle gym decals but uh, I used the foil on here and uh, I'm kind of pleased with that but anyway this is my drag car collection I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do uh, please give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to. Thanks for watching.